guys, this is Jen from Citrus and Willow. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to demo a Triple Berry Brightening Facial. It's a custom facial that I created using Circadia products. It's a great facial for lightening and brightening any hyperpigmentation. It's awesome for dry, dehydrated, lackluster skin. It's pretty much good for all skin types and it can be used year round so it's a great facial if you're wanting to rid yourself of some dull looking skin and put some makeup on that night and go out or it's just a great facial to have for long-term results like my channel subscribe enjoy the facial now due to covid i am going to be putting a mask on so i'll have to talk a little bit louder so i like to moisten the skin before i start in with the first cleanse. The first cleanse that I'm gonna use is the Lipid Replacing Cleansing Gel from Circadia. It's good for most skin types. It has a really nice foaming agent to it and it's really good for breaking up oil and dead skin. So like I tell my students, I always like to have a firm grip onto the face and just a nice firm pressure for the client. It feels nice, but it also really helps bring blood flow to the top of the skin. You can also add a few drops of water if you want to get a little bit more foam. The first cleanse I always like to remove with um, sponges. It gives you a gentle exfoliation as well. I like to do about three passes. So with this triple berry brightening facial, we are gonna do a BT Micro add-on. A BT Micro is a microcurrent machine. It helps stimulate collagen, but it's also amazing for exfoliation. So we are gonna add that in place of the exfoliation process of this facial. So the second cleanse, I'm gonna use the same cleanser, the Lipid Replacing Cleansing Gel. Get it a little bit more foamy on the hands and then spread it throughout the decollete neck and face. So this is a cleanser you can actually use at home. It's not just a pro back bar cleanser. You can order uh, at citrusandwillow.com. Just shoot over an email. We can have it drop shipped for you. Amazing for getting makeup off the skin as well. And I always recommend doing double cleanses at night. You wanna make sure you get all that makeup off first and then when you're really starting to target skin conditions. So for the second cleanse, I like to towel off with a warm towel, just softening up the dead skin cells even more. So now we're going to tone the skin. I like to use the blueberry and white tea hydrating mist from Circadia. Again, this is a product that you can get for your at home use as well. So it's really hydrating for the skin and it has lots of antioxidants. So this is a good toner if you like to get a little hydration throughout the day too. A lot of us are working at home right now, so it's really nice to be able to just spritz it on the face throughout the day. And it smells good. So allowing that to dry so it can infuse into the cleansed skin. It doesn't take very long, but you just wanna give it a second or two. So once the hydrating mist has infused into the skin, we are going to do a mild extraction slash exfoliation technique with the VT Micro. The panel oscillates with water so you have to get a little bit of water onto the skin so you want to make sure that there's no metal pieces and there's no contraindications to using the BT micro we'll start with the nose area and press the exfoliation button on the BT micro and just slowly slide the panel across the nose it does do mild exfoliation but it also helps to get all the dead skin cells, sebum and oil out of the pores. And you don't wanna to press too hard because we really are gonna be doing an exfoliation with the enzyme next. So this is a double exfoliation technique. So you wanna make sure that your client doesn't have any um, sensitivities to a double exfoliation. One of the things I like to do with the BT Micro is always pull up towards the ear, encouraging blood flow, a little bit of urethma redness in the area, which is super good for collagen production. Be careful if the client has earrings in, just don't get too close to the metal piece 
I'm just being really careful around the eyes. And pressure's about medium. You really don't want to put too much pressure on this part of the procedure because we really are gonna be using an enzyme exfoliation for the exfoliation process. And that helps with the brightening as well as post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. A little bit of urethma during this process is super normal. So the next step in this process is gonna be the vitamin veil cleanser. I like to use this for the massage part of a facial. It has a lot of good properties, antioxidants, and it's really nice to massage this into the skin and infuse this serum. So you just kind of want to get a little bit of urethma to the skin, blood flow, breaking up any sebum that might still be deep within the pore, and really again stimulating collagen. You know your face has muscles too, it's important that we massage the skin or even I'm a big fan of face yoga just to get these muscles moving. and. Throughout the years of massage and facial massage, I've learned that you can have knots in your face as well, especially down in the jawline from clenching your jaw and you don't even know that you're clenching it. So it is nice to have your face massage, but you can do this on your own. I like to give myself a little 30 second to a minute massage at night when I cleanse my face. It's very relaxing as well, even in the shower. Getting into the traps. And the neck and decollete is always a part of every service at Citrus and Willow. It shows age and I never like to do that as an add-on because to me the way that I was trained as an esthetician and even as I worked through a Medi spas a part of the aging process so you really need to include the decollete in the neck and always upwards with the neck. You never want to create laxicity by pulling down. And if you massage your face often enough, it can really define your face too. Getting rid of any uh, built up fluid that might be in there from lymphatic fluid, but always pushing that out and down the ear. Okay, once that's completed, you want to make sure that you sponge this off. You don't want to keep the cleanser on there with the oils that's inside of it left on the skin. And I love the Vitamin Veil Cleanser. It's a really nice pre-cleanse for people with aging skin or super dry skin. And it feels like an oil. And sometimes you can even leave it on for a while and let it soak in, just hydrating and moisturizing the skin. It's a great first cleanse for a makeup remover. This also can be purchased through citrusandwillow.com. You just email citrusandwillow at gmail.com to place your order and it can be drop shipped, which is something that we started doing to create safety practices at Citrus and Willow during the pandemic. Although we are, we take high priority here at Citrus and Willow as well for our safety practices and making sure that everything is clean and sterile. So once you have removed all the oil, I like to once again tone the skin with the hydrating mist. Now we're gonna go into the Circadia Raspberry Enzyme Mask. This mask is a two-part mask process with the powder needs to be mixed with an activator. It's one teaspoon of the powder to three parts Raspberry Enzyme Mask Activator. So this mask removes keratin. It creates antioxidant support on the skin, so it's super good for aging skin. Um, and it's brightening, so hyperpigmentation, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, it's excellent for. It has bromelain, so if you have an issue with uh, pineapple, then you'll wanna be careful, but um, otherwise it's basically like Pac-Man on top of the skin. It's just eating all the dead skin that might be left over. So what this will do will create increased product penetration for about 28 days after after this facial treatment. So you're getting about 30% more activation with your at-home products. That's why at-home products are so important in your skincare toolbox. 
And if you're wondering about what products to use at home and you don't feel safe going out right now during the pandemic, we have added an online virtual Estes where we can do an online assessment of your skin and we can do some recommendation on what you might need to be using or adding to your products. Like if you don't have a vitamin C, you need that. Absolutely need a vitamin C. It's a lightener and a brightener. It needs to be used in the morning before you apply your SPF. If you're only washing your face once a day, this isn't good morning and night, even during the pandemic, because we want to prevent aging. This is about aging gracefully, and to age gracefully, I do highly recommend cleansing the morning and the night, which coming up in some of our video segments, we will have a video on morning skincare routine that I recommend and a PM skincare routine that I recommend. So we didn't use steam in this facial, and the reason why we did not use steam in this facial is because hyperpigmentation can actually be activated by heat. So we're trying to combat hyperpigmentation in this facial. We're trying to suppress those melanocytes that turn brown and come to the surface of the skin. So we really don't want to activate that process by adding heat, especially clients who have rosacea you really don't want to ever use heat with them as well. It kind of has like an oat scent and it can feel a little tingly, but there really should be no sensation at all. I even like to add a little bit of this enzyme to the lip. Our lips get really chapped this time of year. Now be careful if you're doing this facial in the summer when people are outside a lot, you don't want to over exfoliate their lips, especially because most people don't use an SPF lip. So they need to make sure they're protecting their lips. Okay, once that mask has been applied evenly all over the skin, you are gonna leave this on for up to 10 minutes. Just letting it do its magic. Okay, so let's talk about this raspberry enzyme mask and why this facial is good for all skin types. So this raspberry enzyme mask, it has a double exfoliation in it with the papain and bromelain, which is pineapple. And if you have an hour to that, then you'll wanna be very careful using this enzyme mask, but it is a great in treatment exfoliation. And if you're prepping someone for chemical peels, this is a great starting point. So we will be doing some videos on some chemical treatments further on so again if you like what you're seeing here like subscribe to the channel and we'll have lots of fun treatments coming up but this raspberry enzyme mask is one of my favorites because of the mild exfoliation and it's pretty good for all skin types and again it does prep them for chemical pill treatments which ultimately when you have a lot of hyperpigmentation chemical treatments are the best way to bring out that pigment and exfoliate it off because it's doing double duty. During this time, you could give your client a shoulder and hand and arm massage while the mask is on. So you'll wanna make sure that the client is relaxed as much as possible and you wanna make sure that this enzyme mask stays on as long as the client can tolerate it. like to end my massage with just touching the base of the skull, top of the neck. It just increases the relaxation from the massage, which a client's not just in here for skincare, they're in here for relaxation as well. So the easiest way to get this mask off is to use a warm towel. I like to use microfiber towels. They help remove the product easier and the heat of the towel and the mild dampness helps to loosen up this product as well. So it's really helpful to get it off the neck and decollete as well as the face. 
So once you have removed all the mask, making sure that you've gotten it completely off the face, the neck, the decollete, the lips, around the eyes, I like to tone again. I am just obsessed with this blueberry and white tea hydrating mist from Circadia. It smells good and it just feels good. So again, we're gonna hydrate the skin and we're also going to give it a little boost of antioxidant power. So this also just ensures that there's no additional product left on the skin. Okay, so once the mask is fully removed, this is where the microcurrent, the BT Micro, comes into play. We are going to infuse some serums into the skin that are going to be beneficial for lightening and brightening, help to boost collagen in the skin as well with the microcurrent. So we're going to get a lot of anti-aging benefits here, but we're also going to get a lot of brightening benefits as well. So I like to start with the vitamin C reversal serum from Circuit. Arcadia. It is high in antioxidant support and it's a lightener and a brightener. So I just put a couple of drops onto where I want a microcurrent. I go to the serum button and flip the plate upside down and you also need to keep your finger close to the microcurrent just to stabilize it. But this is just helping to infuse it into the skin. It's helping to induce uh, collagen production. Again, bringing blood flow to the skin. So this, the vitamin C also helps to lighten post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation as well. And I infuse my serum separately. I don't ever like to mix my serums together. I feel like when you're infusing serums, even when you're not using the BT Micro, they should be infused separately, allowing them to each do their job. Otherwise, there would just be a one-size-fits-all serum, which there's not. That's why there's so many different serums out there. Always pulling back towards the ear, and again, my beautiful model here has gauges in, so you want to stay away from there just because they are metal. Again, with the BT Micro comes a training. I recommend the training for BT Micro just because you need to learn the concept behind the BT Micro and how to use it properly and any contraindications that it might have besides the few that I just spoke about. Again, always including the neck. The neck shows lots of signs of, signs of aging. And as people age, that's one of their biggest complaints is the jawline and the neck area. So I always love to infuse serums and use the microcurrent coming up. But even for your AM and PM cleanse, you always want to be stroking up and always including your decollete if possible. And as always, like I tell my students, sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Sun damage is the worst for aging. Next, I'm going to put on the Emergency Eye Lift from Circadia. This is just an amazing serum to lighten dark circles and help with fine lines, rightids around the eyes and even smile lines. This is a safe serum to put on the upper lid as well. So just gently coming out and always using your ring finger because it is the weakest finger. It doesn't put as much pressure or as much pull. Um, and when you go up towards the bottom of the eyelid, you always want to go in. And then when you come down here, you can just allow this eye lift. If it goes out of the eye, that's okay. Just wrap it in. And this is a little pro tip here, but at night you can put the emergency eye lift on the lips if you have fine lines and wrinkles. It will help to soothe those out. The next thing I like to do is always put on the post peel balm. It's excellent for after chemical peels, but also when you're doing a powerful antioxidant, you want to apply the post peel balm just because you never know how someone's skin is gonna react. So it just has soothing agents in it to help calm down any inflammation. 
So just give it a second or two for all of that to soak in. For the last part, which is the light day sunscreen SPF, sometimes I'll remove my glove just so they can get the touch of the skin. You've already cleansed the skin, so it is pretty safe to get that hand to skin contact at this point. And this is just a light day SPF 37 from Circadia. So it's gonna protect your skin from harmful UV rays that cause aging, also hyperpigmentation. And lastly, of course, I always love to apply a little bit of a lip balm, depending on a female or male. I'll do a shiny for a female or just a nice hydrating balm for a man or a teen for an acne facial. It's just always good to hydrate your lips as well. And they can show signs of aging as well just by getting those um, fine lines and wrinkles there. And lastly, I love to end, of course, with the setting spray or the hydrating blueberry mist, making sure you cover their eyes. Just a little spritz at the end, and then a nice scalp massage, ending the relaxation and just kind of bringing your client back to the now. So I recommend this treatment for particular hyperpigmentations. If they're dark enough, you'll wanna get them every four to six weeks. Again, like I said, this is increasing product penetration by up to 30% for about 28 days is the skin cell turnover rate. So every four weeks is ideal for a regular exfoliating facial from a professional. But there are things you can do at home. And if you can't do every four weeks, at least do every six to eight. That's what I tell my clients. Once you get into the three month time zone, you're really starting over. There's so much buildup that you're not targeting any skin condition. You're just exfoliating what's built up over the last three months. This was the triple brightening antioxidant facial from Citrus and Willow. It's a treatment I created for anti-aging and can be done year round. I hope you enjoyed this facial. If you liked what you saw here, subscribe to my channel for more skincare treatments, tips and tricks and things to put in your skincare toolbox and things you can do at home during COVID to keep your skin bright and glowing and aging gracefully. So like the channel and subscribe and let us know what you thought.